Howdy everybody, it's uh, Walnut Fox here. I've been uh, getting a lot of comments and questions on the MCA selector tutorials that I've put out. Uh, there's been some issues getting the uh, files to open and uh, where to actually get everything from. So we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get it, how to download it, how to open it and how to get your files uh, uploaded into it. So uh, I use Chrome uh, just because uh, I guess um, and what we're going to do is we're going to search for MCA selector and I guess it's all one word but uh, we're gonna go right here where it says quirts uh, they're the ones that uh, built this machine and it's a uh, it's a great editor for uh, Minecraft uh, since how world edits kind of not uh, not around right at the moment so uh, when you click on this uh, this is quirts uh, github page uh, for MCA selector there's a lot of uh, information in here uh, we're going to uh, scroll down. This is the README file that you can go through. Uh, there's also a nice uh, section right here where we can go through and we can uh, click on different places and it will take us to that. So chunk editors, chunk imports, cachings, stuff like that where it gives us all this information. It gives us some overviews of what's uh, what it looks like when it's open, how things are generated, uh, and uh, some of the other uh, filters that it has in it. It's a really high powered uh, section so you can filter out things that you've been in, uh, things that you've only spent a certain amount of time in, things that only have sand and dirt <laughs> for the surface. I mean it's tons and tons and tons of information so what I think that has been happening is, is a lot of people have been going right here where it says clone or download and it wants to use the github it wants you to download the uh, desktop uh, uh, github uh, the github desktop sorry or it wants you to download a zip file the zip files, these are for GitHub. It's more of a specifically set up for GitHub. Uh, the easiest way that I found to do this is you can either scroll all the way down or you can go right down here to where it says download and installation. And it'll automatically take you, it's pretty close to the bottom of the page. Uh, here are the requirements. I know that, you know, some sometimes it's a little snarky, but uh, Java Runtime Environment 8 Plus, you can get it free from here, and he's got a link to where you can download Java. If you're playing Minecraft, you have Java installed. All you need to do is click right here where it says download version 1.9.4. You'll see down here that it starts, and it'll say a lot of times that the dot jars can be harmful to your computer. Now, uh, if you have looked into any type of Java uh, uh, runtime environments, uh, Java runtime scripts, they're all dot jars, and most of Minecraft is built off of dot jar files. So you want to keep this file. This will automatically be saved into your downloads right here and actually I've ended up doing it twice so that's all you need from the website unless you need Java if you need Java you click here and this is going to take you to a Oracle website the problem with it is is you can't run the Java uh, scripts in uh, Google or Edge, or, uh, I'm sorry, Google Chrome or Edge, 
uh, you actually have to run it in Internet Explorer. If you don't know how to get Internet Explorer, that's the reason why I have it pinned to my taskbar here. I'm going to close this. So all of your Oracle and your Java doesn't run on uh, in Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox or any of the other browsers. You need Internet Explorer. The easiest way I found to get Internet Explorer once I found it and pinned it to my uh, taskbar down here so I could just open it. But what you can do is you can go to Settings, System, to find Default Apps. Yeah, we're definitely not web browser. And then we can pick up Internet Explorer right here. So we can choose the app, our default Internet Explorer, open it, pin it to the taskbar, and then we can go back to whichever default one that we want to use. Uh, I have them all pinned down here except for Firefox because some of Firefox's stuff got broke here recently. So from there you can take and you can look for, you can head to Java and then you can download the Java. You can agree and start the free download, detect it. I just did this a little while ago. Make sure that you have the biggest, most up-to-date Java. See, so it's Java version 8, which is the runtime, which is required. The update 241 is a security update, and it was set up on January 14th. I've done this probably three times in the last week just to make sure that I was... I was right. Let it run through its installation process. Then you just find where your file was. This it should automatically put it in downloads unless you've changed that. And then once Java is installed on your computer and everything is up to date, you double click it. And this is what it brings up. MCA selector. You can take this MCA selector out and you can put it in a different file. It doesn't have to be, you know, in a specific, it doesn't have to be in the downloads. And then we can double click on this and it'll bring up MCA selector. Then to open some files, this should take us to the Minecraft saves. Let's just do the single player world, let's go region, it'll be empty, push select folder, and here it is. This is the single player world that I've been playing on for a while, it's not very big. Um, so, anywho, if you want to do the uh, nether, it's in region one, select region, or dim one, select region, select folder. Oops, sorry, that's the end. File open single player dim minus one, region, select folder is the nether. Okay, so hopefully this has helped us get uh, this downloaded and opened. Uh, remember to do uh, go down to the uh, actual download portion of it. Do not play with this here unless you're really good at uh, code. So like I said you can either scroll all the way down where it says download and installation and click this link here. It will automatically download and then all you have to do is double click it as long as you have Java installed. Uh, alternatively, you can go and click right here and it'll take you right to it. This will also take you to the Java Runtime 8 Plus that you can get. Okay. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, we'll get to 
make sure that everybody can get to the MCA selector, prune off some chunks and some regions, and uh, get ready for the nether update. Get some ancient debris and some netherite and all the new stuff. So, uh, I guess uh, if you uh, if it helped out, you don't leave a like. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet, uh, it's free. And I'll uh, try and continue to help out and put out videos when I can. Uh, and as always, uh, make sure you have some fun and play some games. See ya.